We appreciate you, Lord. We reverence you. There is no like unto you. Jehovah reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Jehovah reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Jehovah reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Jehovah reigns, he reigns, he reigns, you are lifted up above all the gods, lifted up above all the gods, you are lifted up above all the gods, you are lifted up above all the gods. You are lifted up above all the gold. Forevermore, you are lifted up above all the gold. Holy Ghost, you are lifted up above all the gold. Lifted up above all the gold. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We honor you. You, you are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the ending. Glory to your holy name. There is none like unto you. You are worthy of our praises. You are worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah for your faithfulness. We reverence you, Lord Jesus. Hallow be your name, O Lord Jesus. O Master Tayaba in the Gable. O Songa, mighty God, we give you praise. O Songa, we give you praise. 
you are the mighty God. Almighty God. Oh, you are unlimited God. Oh, some God, some God, some God. Oh, you are unlimited God. Almighty God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To you be your glory and honor. Hallelujah to your name. Be thou exalted. We bless your name this day. Go on with us in your Holy Spirit. Let mountains be pulled down. Let thy name be exalted. Drop people to yourself. Amen. Touch lives. Amen. Heal the sick. Amen. Deliver the oppressed. Amen. Save the lost. Amen. And let all Father return to you. Amen. Glory to your name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You, In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. 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 And amen. Let's have our seat. God bless you. This is the day, the day the Lord has made. And we bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness. For his mercy is endured forevermore. Those that are joining us live on YouTube and on Facebook, I wish all of you, you are welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends on wherever you are join us this day. It is well. God 
is able, more than able. Our God, there is none like unto him. We reverence him this morning. And so we are welcoming all and sundry as we encourage you to put your hand on the share button, remind people about the program, 10 o'clock UK time, 11 o'clock Nigerian time, Ghana time, and whatever time it is in your place there, you are welcome <coughs> in Jesus name. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube uh, channel, please subscribe so that you will be notified anytime the program is coming up. Don't forget this afternoon, 2 p.m. UK time. Uh, it's not as uh, the normal time like uh, in Nigeria and Ghana. So, Ghana and Nigeria, they are now ahead of UK. So, please take notes. So, that will be 3 o'clock in Nigeria and in Ghana. God bless you. You are welcome. Don't forget to share, 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 share as we continue. So, we have this topic to treat this morning. misleading way of prayer and we are taking our tests from John the Gospel chapter 12 John chapter 12 John 12 from 20 <coughs> from 23 John chapter 12 from verse 23 Jesus replied to them Jesus replied to them and The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I assure you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains by itself. But if it dies, it produces a large crop. The one who loves his life will lose it. And the one who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. Where I am, there my servant also will be. If anyone serves me, the Father we honor him. I've read it to 26. Now, we see Jesus mentioned the corn of wheat that must die, fall down and die. But the way we see in some churches how they pray, their prayer, how they teach their people, they even have, they have several prayer books that you cannot even finish reading the whole year. The prayer book has replaced the Bible, the Word of God. <clears throat> the Bible says, they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. When you are praying, the Holy Spirit must be the one leading you how to pray. Jesus taught his people how to pray. John taught his people how to pray. 
this misleading way of prayer it has yielded bad results to a nation righteousness exalt a nation the sin brings reproach to the people we are going to see the teaching of Jesus on prayer according to Luke chapter 11 Luke the gospel chapter 11 how Jesus taught his disciples how to pray the pattern of prayer when we are saying the praying fall and die prayer fall and die prayer can the spirit fall and die even when Jesus wanted to cast out demons you know out of those people that were possessed these demons inside of them spoke what have you come to do with us have you come to send us out before our time no spirit can fall and die and jesus had to cast them into the swine and those swine we know what happened to them and not only this one jesus himself they sent him out of their city spirit cannot fall under it is our flesh that needs to fall and give way to the spirit of god so jesus said here unless the corn of wheat fall and die it remains by itself you are on your own for praying wrong way of prayer you are just punishing yourself you are just wasting your time you have been misled that's a righteous way of prayer it is not by mind or by power but by the spirit of the lord Let's see the simple way of prayer. The Bible says, if a man's ways pleases the Lord, he will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. Whom are we praying against? We are praying against our enemies. Who are the enemies? One's own family are the, you know, his own enemy. When we are talking about household enemies, we are not talking about your relations, your family. They might give themselves for the devil to use against anybody. But the spirit on the inside of you, are they familiar spirits? Are they demonic spirits? Are they genuine spirits? Because the spirit of God is one. But Satan has so many fallen demons with him who are before angels in the presence of God, who rebelled and fell with the devil. So we should not be mindful that in this world, there's a battle to fight. There's a warfare for every individual. You should be very careful. You should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. Any world where Satan resides must be full of war and battles. We are not fighting against flesh and blood, against wicked spirit principalities and powers, demonic powers in the universe. So if we are now using magical book as prayer, because some of those prayers, fall and die prayers, they are not in the magical books. They are not in accordance with the Bible. Spirit cannot fall and die. There's a limited time for them. Even 
the, the, the head of principalities. Satan himself knew he has but a short time. So how did Jesus taught his disciples how to pray? According to Luke chapter 11, and the Holy Spirit is going to give a better explanation on this. So open your Bibles to John and Luke chapter 11, sorry. Luke chapter 11 and from verse 1. He was praying in a certain place. And when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John also taught his disciples. He said to them, Whenever you pray, say, Father, your name be honored as holy. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Each day. That means the just shall live by faith. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added. Don't ask more than you can handle. At times we bite more than we can show. Give us our daily bread. As a true child of God, you need contentment. You need to be contented. You need to be satisfied with the blessing of the Lord that makes rich without sorrow. Give us our daily prayer. God that is providing for the bears of the air, he will not abandon his own people. He knows how to bless you, how to meet your needs. Our, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Don't think about what I will eat tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Don't think about, ah, am I going to make it in life? The Bible says, the just shall live by faith. Make your way to please God. Pleasing God, God knows how to meet our needs. But today, we are seeking for what to be added instead of seeking how to please God. So Jesus taught his disciples, honor the name of the Lord. Make reference to his name. And your kingdom come me seek ye first, the kingdom of God. Make sure you are a genuine Christian. Make sure you, you have received the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit that will comfort you. The comforter is in your life. Because without the Spirit of God on the inside of you, you can never be a genuine Christian. Because God is spirit. How can God minister to you? When you have not received the promise of God in Joel chapter 2, verse 28. That in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Why people are running her task scattered today? Oh, it grieves my heart. When I see the, 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 those who are supposed to be Christians, unfortunately, the devil has distracted so many people. It's in Revelation chapter 12. From verse 7 to 12. Satan that has deceived the whole world. Satan is deceiving everybody through religious leaders, through pastors, through all these self centered churches we have today. Misleading way of prayer. Spirit can never fall and die, it is our flesh. That must give way to the Holy Spirit. Unless the wheat of corn dies, you remain by yourself. You are your own. That is why a, a nation that is supposed to have repented, we are shouting, running out of scatter, going from one mountain to another mountain. The result is what we are getting today. 
because the spiritual leaders they have failed their nation. Isn't it in the Bible? Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14. The people that are called by my name, if they humble themselves, the people that are called by my name, are, are we not the light of the world? What is the work of the light? The light is to show the way, to take people through the darkness to the right paths. There is no ramification of light. Pastors, shame on you. Because of your failure, the herbalists, the spiritualists, they are not judging you. The believers that are to judge the world, the world is now judging the pastors. Because we have misled people. Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. One of them asked him, teach us how to pray. You yourself, you do not know how to pray. And that is why you are writing all these demonic prayers in your book and you are selling to your members. There's something people call the, uh, uh, the horse only on the paper. A shinui, the ineffective prayers. The Bible says the perfect prayer of the righteous availeth much. Perfect prayer. Persistency in prayer. Praying without giving up. Praying with trust in God. Praying, believing that your prayers have been answered. Not because I prayed here today. Oh, let me try another mountain next week. Let me try another uh, prophet, you know, another month. Let me, you know, this is what is happening. And at the end of the day, nothing to show for it. Unless the flesh gives way to the spirit, you remain on this, you know, by yourself. Let's continue reading. It says, Give us each day our daily bread. That is, a day will take care of itself. Each day will take care of itself. You, if you can trust God for today, be sure that tomorrow you will be taken care of. Seek ye for thy kingdom come. The things of the kingdom. Make sure you, how dare you are in the kingdom and you suffer. How dare you are part of the kingdom and you will be abandoned, you will not be taken care of. Seek ye first. Your kingdom come. Let the kingdom of God reside on the inside of you. Make sure you are part of the kingdom. This is in John chapter 3. If you read from verse 1 to 8, you will not be abandoned. You will be taken care of. The goodness and mercy of the Lord will always follow you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. It's not you that will take care of yourself. Your heavenly Father, through the Holy Spirit, will direct and lead you. And he will definitely take care of you. Because he himself is spirit. And you have received his spirit. You now have the spirit of God on the inside of you. The spirit will guide and direct you. Now, verse 4 says, And forgive us our sins. For we ourselves also forgive everyone in debt to us. Anyone that keeps his sin, we never see the face of God. So whatever we know, we don't hide those sins. We confess them. We ask God for forgiveness. And we do not like to go back into our sinful way. That sinful nature must fall and die. It is not the spirit that will fall and die. And that is why somebody can be praying that prayer for 50 years and yet fornication is still in his life. And that is why you can still be hearing pastor is doing corridor deliverance. You know, caressing private parts of ladies. Forgive our sins. Anyone that keeps his sin can never see the face of God. 
Anyone that covereth in sin shall not prosper. Take note of that. Teach us how to pray. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Anyone with clean hands and righteous hearts. If your heart condemns you, it is certain that your prayer will not be answered. And the devil knew all this. So Satan has provided way of escape, alternative routes. Okay, if it's not happening here, it will happen the other way because people will give you false doctrine. The Bible has already said it. In the last days, people will deviate from the truth. They will now yield to the seducing spirit. Seducing spirit is the one that is showing you the alternative. Oh, if, you're, if God couldn't answer your prayer because of that little, little sin in your life, oh, we, 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 we are serving the, 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 the God of, uh, what do they call it? Glory of her. Grace. Grace cover it. Grace is there for you. I listened to a man, a, a self-made man of God in the city of Abelkuta who was encouraging his member, you go and sin first. Sin first. Then you will see that the grace is available for you. Such a pastor, no wonder they can be sleeping around. They can be deceiving people because they have misquoted the scripture because they have misunderstood the word of god because they they, they have diverted the word of god to suit their sinful nature forgive us our sins we ourselves if anybody sin against us we can easily forgive them and do not bring us into temptation. Knowing that God is not a tempter. And the word of God has said, even in that temptation, he has made a way of escape. How about no sin? Don't stay too long in any temptation. And don't see God as the one tempting you. Every one of us through lost our, our, our carelessness, we have been lured into temptation. In the time of Job, Satan, the accuser of the brethren, it goes about. When anybody is still pleasing the devil, he doesn't bother about them. But pleasing God, he wants to discourage you. So it goes about. He has seen Job, and God asks the devil, where are you coming from? He said he's been going to and fro of the universe. And God said, have you considered Job my servant? So temptation is to prove your enemies wrong, that you love God with the whole of your heart. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he delivers him from them all. Rejoice in the time of, of temptation. Don't worry yourself. Don't, don't give up on God. Don't be jumping about. Temptation is to prove who is your God. Where is your faith? When you are not tempted, be careful. Check yourself. When you are not facing, when we are talking of temptation, we are talking of, we are talking about afflictions. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Affliction is to keep you in check. Affliction is to make you not to lose focus on God. Affliction is to let you put your total trust in Him. Do not bring us into temptation. God is not the one tempting us. It's we that we need to be careful. Knowing that Satan is still in this world. He's the accuser of the brethren. Not listening to false teaching. 
Pastors who could not record, identify God from Satan. Anytime they pray, they tell you they receive from God, they have from God, uh, God is, is directing. No, Satan is in this world. In heaven, when he was there, the Bible said war broke up in heaven. You need to declare war against the devil. And when you, you are engaged in the battle against the enemy, don't be careless with your life. Be careful with your life. It is not over until it is over. Let us stop pretending. Pastors are pretending today as if Satan is not the prince of this world. Even Jesus said the prince of this world came. He found nothing in him. Don't be a friend to the devil because he's a tempter. He's the one Jesus referred to in John 10.10. 10. The thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Don't be ignorant of the devices of the devil. When things around you are not going on well, don't say, hey, God, thank you, you are the one that allowed that. No! Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and give to God what belongs to God. Praises belongs to God. And resistance belongs to the devil. Resist the devil. Submit yourself. Submission to God resist the enemy. It is not over until it is over. It is not over until you are on the other side, residing in the kingdom of God. The church is not the kingdom of God at all. Don't make that mistake. It takes the spirit of God to take you into the kingdom of God. And without the, the, the spirit of God on the inside of you, you cannot be in the kingdom of God. Because he himself is spirit. Let's continue with him. Jesus is teaching his disciples how to pray. He also said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend and goes to him at midnight and says to him, Friend, let me three loaves of bread, because a friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I don't have anything to offer him. Then he will answer from inside and say, don't bother me. The door is already locked and my children and I have gone to bed. I can't get up to give you anything, I tell you. Even though he won't get up and give him anything because he is his friend. Yet, because of his persistence, he will get up and give him as much as he needs. Don't give up on God. Be persistent. Our pastors, they are teaching us as if it doesn't happen here, it may happen some, somewhere else. No! If it is not God, it can never be God. If the glory cannot be given to Jesus, it cannot be given to idol, cannot be given to any, any prophet, it can never be given to any geo. Don't be on the queue because you needed something from God. Be persistent. Ask and believe you have received it. Oh, the word of God used to surprise me most of the time. You know, the word of God says, whatever you ask in prayer, when you are praying, the Bible says, believe you have gotten it. It is after that 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 thing will be given to you. So you have to believe God first. That is the principle of God. But don't believe makes us to jump around. We shop around. You know, <laughs> we shop around. If we didn't get the answer here. Probably we'll get it somewhere. If care is not taken until you, the devil waste all your years on earth. That is what you will be doing all about. And the goodness of God, if care is not taken, that will not be your portion. Will bypass someone doing that kind of thing. Be persistent. A genuine Christian mustn't shop around. I know a former governor in Akwaibo who has spiritual fathers among these big Jews. He has about five or four of them with different anointing, fake anointing. And at the end of the day, look at his life. All these politicians, they hang around all the geos, 
they take over under them. The geos that are not themselves protected. The geos that they themselves they belong to one occult or the other. The geos that they, they, they have the spiritualists, the herbalists as their fathers. Be careful for nothing but in prayer and in supplication. Make your request known to God. Be persistent. Believe you have gotten it. Even when the result is not there. Keep on believing. The man that came to his friend by the night. Because of another friend of his. You should know that the friend of that friend is also the friend of the other party. If not, he doesn't want to answer his friend because of his persistence. Because he, he declared to him that I have no other way to go. You are the only one that could do it. But today, our pastors, big Jews, through misleading prayers, the, the, the people are now rushing to them. They prescribe different kinds of books on prayers. That even the magicians, even the spiritualists, they are using those books in prayer. People that burn candle, they buy those books. They use it, they confess they use it. Magical books. You don't need any prayer book to pray your prayer. Your problem might be different to my own, but we have a common enemy. The enemy that is seeking for your life is the one that is also seeking for my life. A common enemy. But if you can stay with me here, like David said, you will be saved. If you serve the God that I am serving, we have no different gods, though there are self-made gods, there are semi-gods, there are, you know, gods that have not created the heavens and the earth, yeah. part-time gods. Don't go after them, but go after the living God. The God that answered by fire, it will be my God, like Elijah declared. And don't forget the last chapter of Malachi. Verses 5 and 6, before the dreaded day of the Lord. Unfortunately, the dreaded day of the Lord has started. The terrible day of the Lord has come. The Bible said he will send the spirit of Elijah that will wake up the sleepers, that will rekindle our fire that has gone off all these years. Wake up the mighty man. The word has been led astray through pastors. Misleading prayers. Misdirecting people from the truth. From the right way of prayer. From the righteous way of prayer. The prayer of the righteous. The prayer that will, will make heaven to smile at us. Jesus taught his disciples, be open before your maker. Don't keep any sin in your life. Don't love a sinful nature. Don't, don't, don't keep a sinful nature. Cry out like Apostle Paul cried out. Apostle Paul declared, I wish to be nice, I wish to do good, but I see myself doing what I didn't bargain for. And the reason is because the word of God says, as they could not retain the knowledge of God in their hearts, God has given them to a reprobate heart, doing what is not convenient. Let the fear of God reside on the inside of you. Have a clear conscience. Where you need to turn away, turn away. Where you need to run away, run away. Where you do not need association of the people or the approval of the people, you need the approval of God. Unless the flesh gives way to the spirit. I 
Apostle Paul said, who shall deliver me from this flesh that is leading me to error? Thank God for Jesus. Jesus rescued Apostle Paul. He can also rescue you. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. Allow the word of God in your meditation. Allow the word of God to guide in your life. When any situation happens, let the word of God come to mind. See the position of Jesus, the word of God himself, in that situation. Then let Jesus have his way. Wherever we are talking about Jesus, we are talking about the word of God. That was in the beginning with God himself. The word of God, when we are talking about the word of God, we are talking about the water that cleanses all our sins. You sprinkle that water because the water, the blood, and the spirit, they were in agreement. They cannot be separated. Let's continue. Now, a friend has come to his friend on behalf of his friend. But that's it's not the end of it, not because of his friend or because he's a friend to the middle friend, but because of his persistency. Let us be persistent. We have Christians that are not persistent today. That is why they come from deeper life to mountain of fire, from mountain of fire to redeem, from redeem back to seller. Shopping around. Shopping around Christians. Will you continue like that till Jesus comes? They were never stationary. They were never persistent. They try it everywhere. Oh, another prophet has risen up there. If it is Calabar, in Calabar, they go there. There's no place they cannot travel to. Unless you repent and change your ways, you will likewise perish. I've seen so many rich men and women that all this big deal they have ruined them and they have put them aside looking unto jesus who is the author and the finisher of our feet if it is not jesus it can never be jesus jude vastery tells us salvation is a common salvation is for every jick and harry a persistency in prayer. <laughs> Trusting God. Takuti Jesu. It's not common. You have to fight. That portion of faith. That has been handed over. To the saints once and for all. Be persistent. Don't give up. It will look as if you are going to lose your life. It will look as if God is not answering you. It's a lie. The condition is you've got to believe you have received it before you can receive it. It is then you will get it. Look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Many of us, we are serving God because somebody promised us it's going to be done. Oh, you are going to get miracle. Oh, you don't sweat. You, the money will just come down. You better retrace your steps. This is where all spiritual leaders have led their nation into. The reason why we have all our youth on the street is because all the spiritual leaders, they have failed their nation. Because it is the spiritual that is to control the physical. And if there is failure in the spiritual realm, the physical is gone. We do not need to go to the street and, and, and the soldiers coming to kill these innocent youth. But because our spiritual leaders, they have failed their nation. They have signed agreement with the devil. They have sold out their conscience to the enemy. Teach us how to pray. The followers of Jesus, they ask him, you also, you can be taught how to pray through the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. And it's written here, submission to God. Recognize him. Let his name be honored. Let him be glorified. Know him as God above other gods. <laughs> oh, and 
live trusting him on a daily basis. Don't live the life oh one wabi otoma fi go go fa. Oh, don't live a too much excess life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Grab the kingdom of God. First, others, they are on the waiting. This is my life, I am telling you. When I look back, I couldn't believe I've gone this far. I couldn't believe I fought any battle. Because the Lord will make you to, while you have been tempted, it will be as if you have never passed through any temptation. Because Christ in you is the hope of glory. He's the one doing the battle for you. You have no strength of your own. I pity people when I see them jumping from one church to another and at the end of the day back to square zero. Some people even after trying all the churches, they will tell you they are returning back to their Islamic way. Check the background of all these Jews. They were formerly from Islam. Some of them, they do not have the right foundation. And if the foundation is being destroyed, what can the righteous do? Nothing. The righteous will continue to suffer till died and find himself or herself in hellfire. That will not be your portion and my portion in Jesus' name. Let's continue from verse. Is that verse 9? So I say to you, this is Jesus teaching us how to pray. Keep asking. <laughs> like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They said to the king, we will not bow to your idol. But today, I'm encouraging you, those that are with us here, don't bow your face to the enemy. Don't give up because of any situation. Don't be a Christian because of what you can get from God. Be a Christian because of your eternity. Your years in eternity so that you will not suffer at the end. Be a Christian because you know God is the ultimate. Because you know all that Jesus had suffered for you. Keep asking. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, even if God deliberately refused to deliver us, yet, because of what we have known about him, we will not bow. Many people, they are bowing today. General overseers, they have bowed today. And they are pulling their crowd, their, their gullible members, misleading them. And they are the only one benefiting from this deceit of the last days. Deliver yourself from this untoward generation. Don't remain like children for life. Be a mature Christian. Don't remain like a miss up Christian. Don't remain like a matured Christian. Keep asking and it will be given to you. Even you have been asking, a time will come when you will say, Father, I thank you because you have given, you have done it. It is done. Even physically that thing is not there. That is how to receive from God. Keep asking. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, even if God is not there physically to deliver us, yet, for what we have known, we will not bow. Don't be among non-believers, parading themselves as believers, jumping around, shopping around. And at the end of the day, zero. Don't be like that. Our God is able, more than able. Keep trusting, keep asking, keep believing him. Remove your eyes from your geo. Your geo didn't die for you. Your geo is looking for, for your money to march and die for you. Don't trust any human being. Don't trust them. Believe in your God. He's the one that can be trusted. Don't put your trust in any man. Believe not all spirit. Test them. Any 
body you have not tested what is on the inside don't believe him don't trust him the bible said believe not on spirit the test that spirit is genuine or fake and before you can test anybody's spirit genuine or not genuine your own must be tested you must be sure of the spirit you carry you must be sure you are not having the antichrist spirit too many antichrists all around the research shows that in nigeria all the churches we need to restart we need to start afresh they have been operating under a close heaven if you cannot allow witches and wizards in your church you cannot have crowd i am saying it and i'm repeating it you should be you should be able to accommodate them to pamper them to deceive them to give them a place in the church it has been for a long time it has been going on for a long time even from before the the emergence of the Pentecostal churches all the Baba just the yard just we have in our churches what is their criteria of being Baba John the yard job? maybe because they are rich maybe because the, she's the oldest woman in the church is she born again is she a Christian this is the result we are getting. The bishop will be the Olori Awo, the Oboni, laying hands on the innocent followers. And when the innocent followers are having their problem, the best place to go is to go to the herbalists, to go to the spiritualists, to go to the white garment churches. And on Sunday, they show up again. This is the result. We are getting today. The nation has been sold out. Nigeria has been sold out. Our nation is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Blood in the hands of the ministers. Unrighteousness at the pulpit. And we are, instead of us to confess our sins, we are hiding our sins. Have you seen anyone that covered in sin that prospers? The blessing we are boasting of is the one added with sorrow and sadness. But the blessing of the Lord make it rich that there is no sorrow. Whatever God has given to you shall be permanent. No sorrow shall be added to it. People are coming to our meetings. On their way back, they die. It happened recently. I, I read about it in Ghana. 20 people lost their lives inside the, the church building. What about the 200 people that died in TB Joshua's church? Can that be God? Let us stop this life of pretense. Let's be open. The God that knows everything, nothing can be hidden from him. Teach us how to pray. Pretense in prayer. Anyone that covered the session of prosper, we want to eat our cake and have it. Can that be possible? No, it is not possible. Let's go the way of the Bible. Don't follow the prayer pattern of any geo. They are from the demonic power, from marine kingdom, misleading people. Teach us how to pray. John taught his disciples how to pray. Jesus taught his own people how to pray. If we are followers of Jesus, this is the pattern we have to follow. So let me continue reading as we are trying to round up. Is that keep searching and you will find. Keep knocking and the door will be open to you. For I love this. For everyone who asks receives. You can see in our churches today among 10,000 people, two people will come and give testimony. Fake testimony. Diabolical powers. But the Bible says everyone that receives we definitely receive. Everyone that asks we definitely receives. Everyone. 
If it is not so, it is not from Jesus. We are serving God as if my God is different to you. Definitely, there are some people who didn't know God. Are they the one you are following? Let me repeat myself. That pastor you have not tested his feet. That pastor that has that has no testimony of persecution. Many are the persecution of the righteous, afflictions of the righteous. That pastor, that your pastor, that is teaching you that everything is easy, 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 easy. Wash out. That is the promise from the pit of hell. In this world where Satan is the prince of this world, nothing can be easy. But when you cross to the other side, when you are now, you, you become spirits. <laughs> you count everything to be nothing. You count this world to be nothing. You will be eager for the world to come. You will be eager for the coming of Jesus. So nothing will move you. And God will never disappoint you. He provides for your daily needs. He meets you at the point of your need. And gradually you will even realize you have gotten more than enough. That is the God that we are serving. You don't need to lie. You don't need to slaughter ram. You don't need to slaughter human beings. You don't need to join the politics. You don't need to kill human beings. Because all the politicians in Nigeria, they are corrupt. Now, let's read. For everyone who asks, oh, everyone, everyone, everyone who asks receives. Not partial. Our God is not a partial God. Our God is no respecter of persons. And the one who searches, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be open. Knock, it shall be open. Today, so many churches, we have sent Jesus out of the house. Jesus is now outside knocking. Will you allow me in? And don't let anybody fool you. Jesus, if it's not in your heart, that place you call church is nothing but shrine. They that must worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Not necessarily where you are worshiping Him. Not necessarily how many people that are in that fellowship. Not necessarily whether they are 10,000 or 10 million. In fact, where you see crowd, you should be afraid of the crowd. Because where you see people gathered like that, it is Satan that put them together to destroy them and to have them at the end of the age. The devil will not have you and I in Jesus' name. To one who knocks, the door will be open. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish and give him a snake instead of a fish. If that place is a true place where Christ resides, what type of a father that will ask his son to come and visit him and on the way he will kill him on the way? If truly you are going to the house of God, or what kind of a father that will gather his children together in an auditorium and the auditorium, will, it was that day, that particular day where people gathered. The building didn't collapse when nobody was there. But the day they gathered together, you know, let's, let's use our common sense to know that there is reason behind every action of man. Now, or if he asks for an egg, we give him a scorpion. If you then, <laughs> who are evil, you know how to give good gifts to your children. 
how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Yeah. Jesus made it clear that the greatest thing you can ask for at this end time is the promise of the Father from Joel chapter 2, 28. If not, you, you, you may not escape the deceit of this end time. Because the deceit of this age is more terrible than the deceits we had before. So be careful. You need the Holy Spirit. Be guided by the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit teach you how to pray. You don't need any prayer book. To be praying from the prayer book, it was just like something, look, drama that I, I, I saw it last night. The people that took away the uh, upper staff, the Akilu, is it Akilu of uh, Lagos. And one, you can see that the, 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 the boy is inexperienced. <laughs> you can the way I saw that thing, it was as if he placed the what he was reading, and he was he was reading it, reciting it. I'm a lucky read the doko. What makes he goes to sleep with the mother? Well, you can see he was reading it. You don't need prayer book. Let the Holy Spirit fills you up. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you. You pray right. You don't pray wrong. Don't forget the topic. Misleading way of prayer. We need a righteous way of prayer. And you can only get it by the leading of the Holy Spirit. They that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Be led by the Spirit. That is how that verse 13 close this message here he said how much more will the heavenly father give the holy spirit to those who ask him how dare you carry the holy ghost and sickness want to strike you down how dare you carry the holy ghost and hunger want to kill you. Somebody sang a song. Tobaku die, koma lo reji si koto. Mana mana asishai mwale. Fama loro. Okwa ye ko kone riwamu. And so on and so forth. I can't remember all the, the song. I think it was sung by either Sonia Ade or Ebenesa Obe. Let's run for the most necessary thing and that is the Holy Spirit. Stop buying all these books. I spoke with a man who came in last night from Nigeria and we were deliberating. He told me he, he has bought all almost all the prayer book of his deal. He has brought all everybody in the family to the church. And if you know what is happening in that church, terrible, terrible things. Can that be God? No. God is not a wicked God. John 10, 10, the thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus has come to give us life in abundance. Not ordinary life. Not life today, fever tomorrow. Not uh, COVID-19 next tomorrow. No. Life in abundance. Life that you can share with people. Life that you can give to others. Where are the mighty men? When we are talking of the mighty men, knowledgeable people in the world of God, people that know their God, people that can raise up their head in such a time like this. God bless you. And I console those families that have lost any of their family, any of the youths that were shot by the military, the Lord will console you. But this battle is not the battle of our youth. 
But because our spiritual fathers failed, because our political leaders failed, that is why we see our youth on the street. They are doing, they have done well, but not in such a wicked country with wicked leaders that the youth, their voices can be heard. So, the struggle continues. But let the righteous people go before God. Let's confess our sins. The word of God says it is the fathers that has eaten the soft fruits. But the children, they are now having the ache, toothache. They are the one that they are having toothache. It's not supposed to be so. But the Lord has not given up on his people. Let's keep on knocking. Let's keep on believing. Let us not join the multitude to fall away. To follow all this. It's a shame. All these big geos that are known in the world. They were not known in heaven. They are representing the politicians. The politicians. They mingle with them. They even... They, 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 they were identified with them. You know, they were in one occultic or the others. None of them is free. We need a new church in Nigeria. We need new ministers of God in Nigeria. We need new people in Nigeria. New regime in Nigeria. New church must emerge with the fear of God. They that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. God bless you. You are welcome. Join us this afternoon, 3 p.m. Nigeria, Ghana time, 2 p.m. UK time. Don't forget, be patient in prayer. Pray and wait upon your prayer. Believe your prayer has been answered. That is the condition. Don't doubt. Doubting what you have prayed on makes you to try another place. Try another. And don't forget the majority of them are false preachers. Preachers of their belly, of their pocket. And they are not succeeding in this world except they are bound to the devil. Devil will make them, the devil that has deceived the whole world. They have been deceived by the devil because they've not gotten the kingdom of God but they've gotten the added things first before the kingdom of God. As you are going today, seek ye first the kingdom of God. If you didn't get the kingdom of God, you cannot get the attachments. If you get the kingdom of God first, you don't, you don't run after the attachment. The attachment, the package, easily, without expecting, will be placed at your door. And you will just be enjoying the benefits. Whatever you do shall prosper. The word of God shall be fulfilled in your life. You will lay hands on something shall prosper. It shall come to pass. You will, you will pray for, for, for the sick they shall recover. Because you have extra, extra, extra gifts that Jesus has given to the people. He has come to give life in abundance. God bless you. I love you and I commit your ways into the hand of God this week. The Lord will prosper you. Make his face to shine upon you. Don't let anybody knock on your behalf. Knock yourself. Ask yourself. No one that asks that will not receive. That is the promise of God. Anyone that asks shall receive. Don't fail to ask. Ask by faith. Trust him to the end. Don't, don't love God because of what you want to get from loving because he loves you first. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. You are not going to perish. You are not going to die by sword. Mm -hmm. And those that are killed by sword, they will die by sword. Mm -hmm. There shall be no peace to the wicked. 
Every wicked ones in Nigeria, you will never know peace. Your, your generation will not know peace. And God will arise on behalf of all the Nigerians. And Nigeria will be what God has made Nigeria to be. In Jesus' name. Go and prosper. You are blessed. You are blessed more than any other person in your family. Because you have put your trust in God. You are welcome. Fear not. God is with you. Wherever you go this week, He will prosper your ways. He will order your steps. And it shall be well with you. You are welcome. Love you all. Share this program. Let it go. You know, to places where people can recover themselves. Let them recover themselves. You can recover yourself. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Stop reading from prayer books. They are magical books. They are not from God. They that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. Let the Spirit of God lead you. Read from Luke chapter 11, how Jesus taught his disciples how to pray simple prayer. Confess your sins. Keep trusting. Believe in him. Don't, have, don't keep your sin. Don't enjoy living in sin. The Bible says, Paul, apostle, said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Lead us not into temptation. So don't be ignorant of your environment. When you see things are not going on well, check. Are you the one at fault? Are you weak in prayer? Are you in a wrong association? Are you in a wrong fellowship? Because too many wrong fellowships, too many wrong places of fellowship that are not of God. So retrace your steps. Your house, God is there. As long as you carry Jesus in your heart, anywhere you are, you are representing Christ. And the Bible says, giving your body as a living sacrifice unto God. So, keep on asking. God bless you. You are welcome. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.